Dr. Pescatori, pycnogenol is a natural substance that's rich in nutrients. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us about that? Where does it come from? What is it? Where is it found? Yeah. Uh, pycnogenol is a really interesting new natural supplement because it comes from this, uh, it's a French maritime pine tree bark really? extract. Hmm. And it comes from this one forest that's in France that has been intact for centuries. So it's ancient. It's an ancient forest Excellent. and it's pristine and uh, they don't use any pesticides or, or anything like that in the tree where the where the trees are mm -hmm. and um, in the processing of pycnogenol there's actually no toxic solvents used either wow. so it's really this wonderful pristine it's nutritional supplement absolutely toxin free so it's rich in nutrients and it comes from tree bark yeah. <laughs> Can you believe that? And they found that <laughs> hundreds of years ago. I mean, it was an ancient discovery as to how they found that. And they found it um, through these sailors who actually took, um, used the uh, pine needles, mm -hmm. and they made teas out of that um, in order to heal themselves. And they just knew to do that. They, they had nothing else, so they tried it. <laughs> you know, give it a try, right? It <laughs> wasn't a local drugstore, right? <laughs> okay, so they used the pine needles, and they found that this heals some of the maladies that they were experiencing, or it energized them. I believe they used it against scurvy, if I'm, if okay. if I'm not mistaken. So the, it's rich in nutrients. What are some of the nutrients that, like vitamin C, for example? No, I mean, pycnogenol really, when you, when you look at it from a chemical point of view, okay. I mean, it's, it's an antioxidant. So okay. it's that new class of antioxidants that people not, may not be aware of called OPCs, which are oral proanthocyanidins. Right. You know, really, really We're fancy words, <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know, it's basically a bioflavonoid. I mean, I think okay. people are going to be start hearing that word a lot more mm -hmm. because it's sort of the next class of antioxidants. So that's really what pycnogenol is. And what it is, is it's a super antioxidant. Mm -hmm. So it actually, not only does it have, you know, antioxidant properties itself, which basically means it goes around the body and, and scavenges and right. gets the free radicals out of there and reduces inflammation and reduces oxidative stress and all of that but it helps other, other antioxidants, antioxidants okay. do their job. So it helps vitamin C stay in the body longer, okay. helps vitamin E stay in the body longer. So it helps them to do their job even more. So that's why they call it a super antioxidant, because not only is it a standalone antioxidant, but it also helps other ones. And when did we discover that this, we could be using this these days? They knew it way back when. Well, they've been studying um, pycnogenol Mm -hmm. uh, the supplement for over 40 years okay. with clinical, you know, clinical Lots trials, studies. basic studies, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Uh, so it's been at least clinically studied for 40 years. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, that's no, it's actually nice because with nutritional supplements, mm -hmm. I mean, they come, they go, you know, one day this one's good for you, right. one day that one's good for you. Pignogenol, they know why it works, how it works, because they've been studying it literally, I mean, for over 40 years. So it's going to be, there's over 280 scientific publications Excellent. done on it. So it's really quite interesting when you compare pycnogenol to some of the other nutritional supplements. I mean, vitamin C, mm -hmm. yes, that's been studied for years and years, right. but, but it's really nice when um, a nutritional supplement is, has clinical research to support everything that, that we talk about. So this is good for many ailments, correct? I mean, it addresses many issues in the body, correct? Pycnogenol addresses many issues in the body. Anything from uh, blood circulation to skin health to allergies to asthma to osteoarthritis. Um, the list goes on and on. Uh, cognitive function. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really, there's, there's just so many things that it, that it can do. Microcirculation in the eye, detoxification. I mean, it's really, it's really quite fascinating. So it truly is the master antioxidant, isn't it? I think it's absolutely without a doubt. Okay, well thank you very much.